Hi. Hello, hello everyone. We are here today with a fabled deck profile. I've had, yeah. a, I've had a fabled deck for quite a long time. I love this deck to pieces. But um, I never really made a deck profile of it because my extra deck used to be about 80 cards. But I've managed to make a 15 card extra for it. I'm going to side deck and... Toby said, because we're doing the Dark World deck, I have to do the chums of Dark World deck, otherwise known as the Fabled. Hell yeah. So, uh, here we go. Start the deck profile. I have three Fabled Chawa. He's a brilliant card. You can discard any Fabled monster to special summon him. And normally, the card you discard also gets special summoned, which just means it's an instant synchro because he's a level 1 tuner. Uh, three Fabled Lurries, the favourite card to discard with Chawa. He's a level 1 non-tuner when he's discarded, he's special summoned, so it's instant formula synchron. He's one of my favourite synchron monsters. And one Fable Nazuchi, he's the same as Chawa, you can discard one card to special summon him, and then you can also special summon another Fable monster from your hand when you've summoned him. It's like three summons for nothing. Um, free Fabled Cerberal, a level 2 tuner that gets special summoned when he's discarded. It's very useful. Um, Fabled Cruz, I'm free of. When she's discarded, she special summons something from the graveyard. So she's pretty much like all the monsters when you discard, you special summon, but you don't special summon her, you special summon anything that's already in the grave at level 4 or lower. Which even includes the Fabled Synchros for level 4 or lower, which is very useful. Uh, free Fabled Ganesh, he's a level 3 non-tuner who gets special summoned when he's discarded. But uh, the annoying thing about him is he gets banished afterwards, but I tend to try and Ixus with them when I discard them. Uh, two Fable Kashano, this is like an infinite discard outlet. I bet, I bet you wish Dark Words had something like this. Yeah. Uh, every, uh, you can discard a Fable monster from your hand to add him from your graveyard to your hand. He's level 3 tuner. He's oh, incredibly useful. Uh, three Fabled Grimrose. Um, you can, while you control Fable monster, you can discard her to the graveyard to search your deck for any Fabled monster and add it to your hand, which is so useful. You can just search out for something to discard, something that is a discardy. Doesn't matter. Uh, Morphing Jar, because it's a brilliant discard outlet. Just discard five cards, or have any cards in your hand, and draw five cards. You get, you refresh your hand, and oh, it's just, it's really useful. I want a Jellic Sandy Birdman, kind of a tech card at the moment, I suppose. If I have something that I want to re-discard, I can bounce it back to my hand, especially someone him, and re-discard it, or something that does the discarding. You know, it, it, it comes in useful. I want one TG Warwolf. When you special someone a monster in a turn, you can special someone him, just for no cost really. It's level three non-tuner. It's rather useful to have. I want one Lock Cat. That, that's my real tech card. Um, when you special, when you normal summon this, you special summon a level one beast from the graveyard. I do actually only run three now, but I used to run a Fable Cat as well, and he just there's an instant level four synchro, which I uh, used to have Fable level four ones. I an Honest because the whole deck is light type. Uh, I run one the Tricky. You can special summon him by discarding one card. Again, I get my two special summons in one, and he's level five non tuner. And I also run Obelisk the Tormentor because I seem to be able to swarm the field incredibly easy, and sometimes synchros just aren't the answer. Right, that's my it for monsters. I have no idea how many I have. Probably about 30. I run way too many monsters. Uh, spells and traps. I got f two Dark World dealings. I was running three. But then I kept fighting this uh, Dark World player. It's mm. not very fun against a Dark World player. So I only, only run two now. Uh, monster inclination. Get a monster back from my hand from a discard. Uh, Fifth of the Phoenix. Get a any card from my deck. Uh, graveyard to the top of my deck. Normally Pot of Avarice. It's very useful for that. Lightning Vortex. Discard, destroy their monsters. It's like a Regeki for free, really. Card Destruction, a brilliant S card outlet. Pot of Avarice, because my monsters get in the graveyard incredibly quickly. Are you quickly. still proxying, or are you that, actually... that, there, there is There is a real Pot of Avarice here, if anyone wondering. See, look. It's a real Pot of Avarice. I just, I love my proxy so much. Look at him, he's so cool. Uh, heavy Storm. It's a Heavy Storm. MST, it's an MST. I run a Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Now, people ask, why do you run a Scrap Iron Scarecrow? Why not Mirror Force? Good question. I'll get back to you on that one. And two Legacy Vyatagarasus to thin my deck a lot quicker, because my deck likes to thin. So that's the deck, exactly 40 cards. We have an extra deck, it's mostly synchros, but I run one Ixus, I run a wind-up Zen mains for those uh, Ganesh, just because it's nice to have them in the graveyard for some of the crows. And then for the actual synchros, I run a Formula Synchron, my favourite synchron monster, really easy to summon in this deck. Fable Kudabai and Fable Unicorn. Kudabai is really good in your top deck because he can't be destroyed by anything. And when your opponent has the same amount of cards in your hand as you, Fabled Unicorn negates all of their effects. It's incredible. Uh, I run two Fabled Ragans. He's brilliant draw power. Synchro for a five, and then you get to draw cards until you have two in your hand. I normally on purposely set my spells and traps to when I summon them, and then just draw two cards and snake a free two cards for nothing. Uh, Catasta, no explanation needed. I Chain Dragon. I needed another level six, and I, I have um, I don't know. I couldn't I couldn't decide between him and Flamboy because I just went with Iron Chain in the end. Uh, Brio, obvious. It's a brilliant discard outlet as well as an amazing effect. Scrap Artrine, a brilliant level 7. Uh, Black Rose Dragon, obvious. Two Stardust Dragons, because I run Shooting Star Dragon in this deck, so I need more. I'd run two Formula Synchros if I was allowed. Uh, Scrap Dragon, just this This is the best Synchro in the game, guys. Scrap Dragon. You zoom in on that Scrap Dragon. Mm -hmm. That Scrap Dragon. And also Shooting Star Dragon, everybody's favourite. 
Hell yeah. yeah. And then I can pulse it. Shut up. <laughs> right, uh, I've got a side deck as well. I've got uh, two Imperial Line Walls, because I hate my cards being banished. And if I use Genix, I like Birdman and um, Ganesh, I can summon them with their effects, and then they won't get banished because I have Imperial Line Wall. So that's always fun as well. And obviously it stops my opponent, like Chaos Summoning and stuff. Uh, my extra two MSTs for if they're using a very heavy back row deck. Uh, Cheerful Coffin, in case I go against Dark Worlds, so I can still discard stuff without making them discard. Uh, special Hurricane, discard one card, destroy all special summoned monsters on the field. Oh, that's so useful. And your special summon happens after the resolution of this effect, which is also really useful. Um, uh, another two Janix Eller Birdmans. I, I don't know. I don't know. They might come in useful. I haven't decided. I don't know how if I'm even stay keeping them on a main deck yet. Two Colossal Fighters, in case they're going into a really warrior heavy deck, like Six Sams or something. Or Ninjas. Two Black Wing Dragons for those burn decks. And yeah, I do I do side deck a lot of extra deck cards. That's how I uh, narrowed it down to 15. Two Red Dragon Archfiends against Stalling decks and a Red Nova Dragon because it is easily summonable in my deck. I get tuners out all the time. So yeah, that was uh, that was my fabled deck profile. I'll keep you updated if I change it at all, but I can't imagine I will be. And I'll probably be using it at our next local, so that should be quite fun.